Yo, what is up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be dyeing my hair copper color. Now, I actually have these hair dyes from Essence and I just think copper is such a cool color and I think it's a really dope color with dreadlocks. Now, with my hair being super blonde, like, let me take it down. I still have the two stranded, but this color at the root, I was actually really stoked on and you can kind of see it at the roots a little bit as well. So not only was I stoked on the color, but it will help match out the mistake I made on the base of my head as you can see obviously but guys in today's video i'm going to be taking my hair out of the two strand twist and i'm going to be dyeing my hair the copper color obviously this isn't going to do anything harm to my hair because i'm just putting color on top and this is a non-destructive hair dye by the way this is creamy versus like oily and it has botanicals and also it has nutrients that drives into your hair so with that being said there's no parabens no peroxide and a big thing is there's no ammonia inside this as well so this video isn't sponsored by essence i'm using this because this is a great product for you could say damaged hair i think if you bleach your hair you can automatically just label your hair as damaged because when you bleach your hair it sucks the pigment out of your hair not only is it pulling the pigment out which is the color but it's stripping your hair of its nutrients and everything like that so it's good to push nutrients back in and it's perfect if you can find hair dyes that have all the nutrients and all the things that you want for your hair inside the hair dye and it's not doing anything destructive so with that being said it's going to be a pretty cool video because i love the copper color and i think it's going to show up great on my blonde hair now with all that it's just time to get started so let's take out these two strand twists the good thing about taking out these two strand twists is anytime i use these little rubber bands these little hair ties nobody likes these getting stuck in their hair so anytime i use them I'll only wrap them around twice i don't do it you know five to ten times how some people will but these little rubber bands i'll literally wrap them around only twice because when you get into wrapping those maybe like three to five times it just gets stuck in the hair and it causes too much pulling and breaking at the tips. You can see how these actually stayed in pretty well because rubber bands out. Now with my hair being bleached, I will tell you guys some benefits that actually come with your hair being bleached. One thing that happens when you bleach your hair, it dries your hair out completely. And I'm telling you guys, dry hair locks up way quicker than wet or moisturized hair. And if you don't believe me, here's kind of a comparison. If you look at oil for a car, it helps lubricate the pistons and allow it to run smoothly. It loosens everything up. If you look at baby oil, it softens skin. If you look at moisturizers, it softens skin. Of course, in the case of you wanting to get dreadlocks, you don't want to have those because essentially what happens with all the dry hair, like say all this frizz right here, you guys are looking at it. It's like, yo, these are super frayed. This stuff gets sucked up into the dreadlock because of it being dry. Now, obviously, if you want your hair to be clean, Clean and dry don't bleach your hair just to get it clean and dry you can obviously just wash your hair and get it clean and dry which I'm actually coming out with a video of me doing 30 days of cold showers and I used bar soap which helps actually make your hair extremely dry but obviously your hair stays healthy because your nutrients and your natural oils will go back in to your hair but that's in a whole nother video I'm gonna finish taking out these two strand twists and then we're gonna get straight in to the hair dye. My dreadlocks here up in the front kind of look like foxtails because of the gradient. It goes from dark brown to a copper tone to like super white. My hair has kind of a little wave to it after coming out of the two strand twist, so it's pretty cool. And honestly, I'm really just ready to get into dyeing the hair because I'm excited to see what this is gonna look like. So I'm gonna start out with one and we'll just play it from there. Guys, gloves are super essential. Make sure you're wearing gloves so you don't stain your hands. Now with this, I'm also going to be using this little dish right here so that I don't have to squirt this into my hair. I'll just be able to go straight into here. It smells really good, but you can see how dark it is. It doesn't go on this dark. You can kind of see the tint coming through. Another thing I am gonna be putting on is, voila. A cape. Now guys, let's get straight into it. I am also gonna be dipping into this brush and seeing how well that works. If not, I'm just gonna use my fingers. And a tip that I used while doing the bleach is not to do the front first because then it's just hanging in front of your face the whole time. So I'm actually gonna start with the sides. All right, straight off, I'm not liking the brush, so I'm just gonna use my fingers. These are mostly good if you have like straight hair. Now the biggest thing I'm trying to watch out for is dripping this everywhere because this stuff will stain anything now this might go on really dark but once i do a rinse it'll look really nice you can kind of see the copper tone peeking through but obviously that'll come through even more once we do a rinse all right cool one down 24 to go but right off the bat the number one thing you notice is the smell it smells really good now i'm not gonna lie to you guys i wanted to keep my hair bleached but i did kind of mess up my roots with allowing the bleach to rest on my scalp so then that came through 
And then I was like, I'm just gonna dye my roots and that'll be fine. But then I was like, you know, it'd be actually really cool to do copper all the way throughout. Cause obviously when you bleach your hair, you kind of get a copper tone already, but I wanted to do an intentional copper tone. If you put Vaseline on your ears while you're dyeing your hair, that prevents your ears from getting dyed. So that's a little tip for you guys as well. I'm gonna go do that right now actually. Cause I definitely don't want orange ears. Okay guys, I put Vaseline literally everywhere. On my forehead, on my cheeks and my sideburns and my chin and all along the back of my neck because I don't want those parts to get stained with this stuff because it's really dark and it will stain. So take precaution, I'm telling you. The biggest thing when dyeing hair though is just consistency. Make sure that it's very consistent throughout the whole head. So when it does come to the scalp, I will be using the brush. I might need Candace's help on this just to be able to see where I'm going and getting full coverage. But the ones I've done so far look pretty full coverage. One thing to take note of is while I'm dyeing my hair, I'm twisting my hair in the direction that I normally twist it. That way, afterward, you have some sort of a light retwist. Or your hair just doesn't become messy right afterward. It's kind of cool, as it's drying, it almost looks red. Which it is copper, but it looks just straight up red. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like after all my hair has been dyed. And this, guys, is why you put Vaseline all over your face and your neck. I'm gonna put a shower cap on, let this dry for a little bit, and then I'm gonna rinse it out, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna clean my face too. But with it being in, you can see that it's slightly red. It's kind of like a auburn color. And I really hope it comes out really saturated. Not too dark, not as dark as this. Obviously it's gonna rinse out a bit, but I really hope it holds some saturation. I look like I got in a mud fight with somebody. So what I'm gonna do right now is use a blow dryer just for a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm probably set for probably 45 minutes, then allow it to completely dry and cure, and then rinse it out. Guys, I'm not even gonna lie, my hair turned out really cool. I love the color. When I first seen it, I was like, wow, this is dope. Like, no joking, like, I was looking in the mirror and I said, wow, this is dope. But this is what it looks like. It's actually very interesting. I feel like it has a really nice blend. Like how dope does this color look? I can't say that it's a very interesting color. I love the color at the top too. Everything looks really cool. What I am gonna try to do right now is I'm gonna style my hair. And I'm not gonna use any locking gel because my hair is damp. My hair is actually soaked right now. So it's kind of dripping, but I wanna style it while it's still really wet. So I do have a hairstyle in mind that I wanna try and I'm gonna see if it works. So let's try it. Okay, got one side down. Guys, I'm done. I'm gonna see what this looks like. I'm gonna connect both of the tails at the end into a bun. Dang, I killed it. This is actually really dope. Dang, if you haven't been sleeping on me, you might have been sleeping on me at this point. Look how dope this looks. All right, you guys, appreciate this 360 right now. Dang, I can't believe I did this by myself. Dang, guys, I'm proud of myself. What do you guys think about this hairstyle? Um, also, what do you think about the hair dye? Especially with the hairstyle. Like, I love how perfect this turned out to be. I had a thought in my mind, I'm like, maybe this can work. And I literally did it and it worked. I think this is really what it takes. Like when it comes to creating things that you want to create and you think you're gonna look good, you literally just have a vision 
that you try it or not necessarily even try it just start doing it and it works because i've never done this hairstyle before i've done like you know i've done because what you didn't notice so the interesting thing about my hair is i have a what is called a unicorn dread it's right in the middle of my head um so i have that dread so i took it off this way and then i was like man i have these other ones that are kind of up in the air and don't really know have a place to go so what i did is i started this braid straight back from the center and the second one i started from here i brought it forward and around i was like hmm, maybe this will work and it worked so the only thing now is i'm just going to add a bun in the back because i think that'll look a whole lot better so it's like a crown I'm telling you guys crown is the way to go like all jokes aside this is dope i love this hairstyle but you guys actually have to get ready right now so i'm gonna get ready and then i'll see you guys right afterward okay guys I just finished getting ready and one thing that we did my wife was actually helping me out she darkened up my roots by using a beard dye so like you can use it on your eyebrows that's why she has it so um she put it she put some on the top of my head and in my roots so you could probably tell a significant difference right now so it's looking really good and i had some spots on the side that she fixed up as well and obviously you don't have to do that step if you don't mess up with bleaching your hair like how i did but i will come into the sun so you can kind of see the color it's kind of bright but then i also threw on some glasses that match my hair color so it's pretty cool but you guys that was a hair dyeing video hopefully you guys really enjoyed it i thought it was really awesome it turned out greater than i expected but hopefully you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up i'll see you guys in the next one the next video is going to be awesome so stay tuned for that and then i'll see you guys next time hopefully you guys do an amazing day matter of fact have a great day peace out and god bless